Hi, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, and this is the Hollywood Conservative for the Rebel. Before I dive into what I think is a very interesting story with new developments, I think it's pertinent to mention liberals' inability to comprehend when someone speaks of a tiny little fraction of a group of people. For instance, when President Trump talks about the minority group of illegal immigrants coming across the border who commit violent crimes. That is an immediate trigger warning for Democrats and their perception of his comments is always that all illegal immigrants who come across the border are rapists and murderers. Donald Trump is a racist and a bigot and he should be impeached immediately. They also carry over this mental deficiency when discussing the FBI and the DOJ. Now, our president has a very strong and positive opinion of law enforcement in general. The, the recent revelations that there are a small number of individuals within those departments and bureaus does not change his opinion of them as a whole. And as President Trump has repeatedly said, the rank and file members of the Department of Justice and the FBI are honest, diligent, hardworking Americans serving our country with the purest intent. But again, we find liberals twisting that into a narrative that he hates the FBI, which simply isn't true. Now, how does this tie into my topic today? Because we see that the rank and file dedicated members of law enforcement, the members of LEO that our president celebrates and honors on a daily basis, are relentless in their pursuit of justice. Now, here in Los Angeles, we are all abuzz with the news that Robert Wagner is now a person of interest in the mysterious death of Natalie Wood. Wagner, who is now 87 years old, at the time of Wood's death, claimed that he searched the boat with the captain, and when they noticed that the dinghy was missing, they assumed that she had gone ashore. Now, this was back in 1981, and then the case was reopened in 2011 when they changed Natalie Wood's cause of death from accidental drowning to drowning and other under undetermined factors. So investigators this week announced that they don't feel Wagner's story adds up. Uh, you think? Uh, so witnesses have come forward saying that they heard the arguing between the couple on their boat off of Catalina Island. Investigators admit that this is basically their last chance for answers because many of the original witnesses have died or are aging. So memories have changed or faded, and this is a last-ditch effort to solve one of Hollywood's most profound mysteries. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amanda Head, the Hollywood conservative for The Rebel. If you enjoyed my commentary and want to hear more from me and my pals here at The Rebel, make sure you subscribe to our premium content at www.therebel.media forward slash shows, and make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest news. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel.